on this side. Uh, on this side. Sadly, I, I haven't eaten anything in about two weeks, man. All right. You're on the air now. Hi. Hi, Adam. Don't go on a hunger strike because we need you here. And we need you to stay strong. And I'm aware of all the struggles you've been going through, and I just want to let you know how much appreciation I have for what you are going through. And I want to thank you. And Bob, I want to thank you for giving all this airtime because without you, we wouldn't be hearing Adam's voice this evening. And I wish you all, all the luck in the world. Adam, could you uh, possibly speak a little louder? Now, I feel foolish saying that to someone who's been on a hunger strike. You sound so strong. Uh, Judith, what did you want to say? I've uh, been drinking a lot of hot water, man. I've been drinking tea. Adam, you got to eat to stay strong, you to fight these abuses. You're too important. No, not for, not for your, only your struggle, but the struggle for all of us to keep freedom going, for you to weaken yourself. They're going to try to weaken you every way they can. You've got to strengthen yourself every way you can. You know, because we need you. We need your voice not to fall through. You're going to try to kill me. very well, but this line is very, very noisy. Hey man, the police are jamming the airwaves. Believe it, man. It's because you're black, man. There is no justice in the world. Black man, brother. Just, just, just keep your faith in God, Allah, because Allah, God, brought Jonah out of the whale, man, and he can bring you out too. You know that? That's all I can say, man, but like, you're on the surface, they're going to kill us all one way or another. No, just keep strong in yourself and keep strong in your God and just keep strong because you know straight up the odds are against us. Black man in America is like an ice cube in hell. Uh, Allah shows us clearly in the Quran, man. He says, uh, he says that uh, all the oppression, 
greater than any slaughter. Hey, Ted. Continue to fight. And what happens? Did you see? It's become my life, man. Did you see, I owe it to my children, man. Not just my children and myself, but anybody's child, you know, because the children, man, they really don't know what's going on out here, man. <coughs> So I gotta, I gotta expose the extent of this corruption and this corrupt system, man. And I don't care, man, if it costs me my life. Save that my child, anybody else's child, well, I'll do it, man, because see, it's for the future, man. And not just the future of like America, man, but the future of justice. I just pray to Allah that I survive. Justice. Here goes. Justice.